With everything that's happened, we rarely get to see each other anymore. Well things have calmed down finally. So, you'll be seeing more of me. I'm glad, I've missed you. It's been tough, hasn't it? The professor has promised not to keep me in the dark anymore when something like this comes up again. I knew something was going on, but I had no idea he was fighting a secret war. The professor was only trying to protect you. I know. I'm just glad it's over. We should get going. The show is about to start. Okay. How did you get tickets? I heard Phantom of the Opera was sold out. The theater owner is an old friend of mine. Thank you. I've always wanted to see this. I know. I wanted to do something special for you to make up for me being away for so long. <laughs> that show was great. I'm glad you liked it. So, how has your university life been lately? It's been quiet. But today the campus was buzzing with the latest news from Nintendo. Oh, I'm afraid I've been out of the loop lately. What's this news? They officially reveal their new gaming system. It is no longer called the NX, but Nintendo Switch. The Switch, what kind of gaming system is it? Just like the rumors for months said, it was a hybrid game console and portable gaming system. Well, it's a gaming tablet. The controls are detachable and it can plug into a docking station that you connect to your TV. So, you can play games on the go. Or plug it into your TV and play games on a larger screen. Interesting. Nintendo calls the two removable controllers Joy-Cons. They can be used by two people for multiplayer games. Or plug them into a device that turns them into a gamepad. There will also be a separate Pro Controller just like the one for the Wii U but it has a more Xbox-like layout. Interesting. Sounds like Nintendo has really thought this out. What sort of games does this use? I'd assume being portable it doesn't use discs. Right? Apparently it uses cartridges. The trailer did show a few games. Like... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a new Mario Kart game, a new Mario 64-style Super Mario game, and a new version of Splatoon. Those we were expecting. But there was one other shown that has everyone on campus and the internet buzzing. Which one is that? Skyrim, remastered. Wait, seriously, a Bethesda RPG on a Nintendo console? The game is yet to be officially announced, but it was shown running on the Switch. So, what is powering this device? A custom NVIDIA Tegra processor. Based on the wording of the NVIDIA blog, this Tegra chip is likely based on Pascal. Isn't that the architecture for the new 1080? You are correct. It isn't definite that they are using Pascal, but what the NVIDIA blog says does allude to it strongly. Since it is basically a tablet, what is the battery life going to be like? Nobody knows, Nintendo never gave the information. There is a source, supposedly an analyst, who says the battery life will be 3 to 4 hours. That isn't a lot. Actually, it's pretty atypical of mobile devices when running games or playing video. Three to four hours of battery life during heavy use is normal. True, my phone's battery runs down pretty fast when I'm in a video call in Hangouts. Still, there are a lot of unanswered questions, and it looks like we have to wait until next year before we'll hear any more. Wait, next year. When is this coming out? March of next year. Wait. That is four months from now. And we won't get more news until next year. Nintendo has to at least market this thing four to five months in advance to make sure the public knows about it. I know, their window of opportunity is closing, or they'll have a repeat of the marketing mistakes that plagued the Wii U. Most people don't even know what the Wii U is, and some that do think it is just an accessory for the Wii and not a completely new console. Nintendo really dropped the ball with that one, now, this announcement commercial made it clear the Nintendo Switch is a completely new system. At least there's that. But, they really do need to give more details. Their stocks went up and down like a roller coaster after the announcement. It is clear their investors aren't happy with Nintendo giving out so little information. 
a few additional things did come out, the switch will work with Amiibo figurines, and it will run Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4, impressive. This device redefines what a game console can be. But, Nintendo has to be careful not to repeat their past mistakes. It does look like they have third-party support this time. They had it for the Wii U and look what happened there. That's true, but at least a few of them have spoken out favorably about the new hardware, so there is hope. Now, what about the Wii U and 3... D... S... Nintendo said the Switch wasn't meant to replace them, but ultimately it is up to the consumers to decide. And, we know how badly things can backfire when corporations try to control which way consumers go. I think the Switch and 3... D... S can coexist, but it could put the nail in the coffin for the Wii U, pretty much. I think Nintendo realizes this. It is pretty obvious which could heavily impact Wii U game sales. The Wii U has no third-party support, but the Switch seems to have plenty. For right now, the Wii U had it at the beginning, then lost it. Not saying the Switch will do the same, but there is the chance it might. We have to trust that Nintendo has learned from their mistakes. Well, it is too early to tell. We'll just have to wait and see. Until Nintendo decides to grace us with more information that is all we can do. It is good to have a more positive attitude. It really doesn't serve anyone to have a negative attitude all the time. True. So, what is this show again? Madoka Magica, it is pretty awesome. Seems kind of dark. I like it. So, what do you think about the whole Nintendo thing? They might have a winner on their hands if they don't screw it up. Oh, here it comes. Well, that's one way to lose your head. Very funny.